What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at leak code problem number 1270. All people report to the given manager. Mark this medium. Let's get into it. So this one was actually requested by a view of the channel. So we're going to give this one a very thorough look. And if you ever have a request for a problem I should take a look at, just leave it down in the comments. I'll read all of the comments and hopefully I'll get to it. So for this problem we only have one table called employees which contains employee ID, employee name, manager ID. Each row of this table indicates that the employee with ID, employee ID and name employee name reports his work to his her direct manager with manager ID. The head of the company is the employee with employee ID 1. Our task is to write an SQL query to find employee ID of all employees that directly or indirectly report their work to the head of the company. The indirect relation between managers will not exceed three managers as the company is quite small. The return result table should be in the following format without any ordering and without any duplicates. It should just be employee ID, again not ordered and no duplicates. So basically our task is to find out which employees report to the CEO of the company which is marked as employee ID 1 and then return them. There might be at least at most three management relations between employees and managers before you reach the CEO. So we know that the link is going to be at most three management relations. Let's take a look at that employees table because that's all we have to base our answer on. So we would have an employee ID of four for Daniel and Daniel reports to manager two, which once again is an employee, Bob, that reports to manager ID one, which is the boss, the CEO of the company. So we kind of have to establish that relation, that hierarchy of management. So for this one table, we can only see this one relation if someone directly reports to the CEO. But if we need to go over several levels of hierarchy, as we had to do for Daniel, we had to look at Bob and Bob then reports to the CEO. We're gonna have to establish that level of hierarchy. And we're gonna do that using self-join. And we're not gonna just self-join employees once. We're gonna so, uh, self-join twice to get three tables and establish that relation of manager of a manager reporting to the CEO because it says here the indirect relation between managers will not exceed three managers as the company is quite small. That's why we are joining three tables, self-joining twice, basically triple join to get that level of hierarchy. So we can look up which employee works for which manager, which manager that manager works for and which manager the manager of the manager works for. Yes, and if the last person is the CEO, we know that it's the case that this one employee is reporting to the CEO indirectly. Of course, it could also happen that someone is directly reporting to the CEO, which would be the case if there's only one link required. So if, the, if there's a direct report, as in Bob directly reports to the CEO. Let's check out a visualization I did to explain this more thoroughly. Let's go full screen here. So, as I said, we're going to self join twice, having three tables. So, we're going to join our original table, employees, call that A, to employees again, call that B, and then to employees again, call that C. And this way, we establish that level of hierarchy of, for example, Daniel being managed by two, which is Bob, Bob being managed by one, and one is already the CEO. So one once again reports to one. And that's going to become even more clear when I go to the second slide. So I kind of marked these relations of employees working for the manager. And here we can see again that Daniel works for manager 2, which is Bob, and Bob works for manager ID 1, which is the CEO, the boss. And I marked this for all of these employees, and I also marked the second relation of managers working for another manager, and that manager then hopefully working for the CEO. So I'm going to 
write out the code now and it's gonna exactly mimic what I marked up here. We want to join A on B on C. A's manager ID should be B's employee ID and then B's manager ID should be C's employee ID. Yes, so we're once again always just looking at the manager and then treating that manager once again as an employee and finding their manager. And then we do that once again and in the end check whether that last manager is the CEO which has manager ID 1. So let's get back to our code. Let's just select star for now from employees A, joining employees B, joining, you guessed it, employees C. Now we're joining on what I just said, being employee ID and manager ID. So the manager ID of A will be manager of that employee and we want to match that to the employee ID to find out who they are getting managed by. So a.manager ID should be b.employee ID. And then we go even further and say b's manager. We want to look that up in C, so that should be c.employee ID. And that should establish that already. Let's run that code. It's going to print out a lot since we didn't filter yet. But let's go through our Daniel example again. So we have employee 4, which is Daniel. Daniel is managed by 2. 2, um, that's where B starts. Employee 2 is Bob. Bob is managed by 1. 1 is the boss and 1 is once again managed by 1. That's how it's decoded in that table. So we only needed two relations to get to the CEO, from Daniel to Bob to the CEO, but it could even be three. So that's why we still have C in here. Now let's make that a bit more clear by filtering C's manager ID to one, because we want to end up at the CEO. Manager ID should be one back here in C, so that we only show our output for people who are in the end being managed by the CEO indirectly or directly. So let's see what that gives us. That should reduce our output. We still have a lot of columns since I selected star, but yeah, in the end it always says manager ID one, which is good. So now let's just select what we actually want. So our output should be the employee ID of the lowest worker who then reports to the CEO. So we started here in our employee table to call A. So we're going to select A.employee ID. So as an output here, we get 1, 2, 4, 7, and 77. Our expected output is 2, 4, 7, and 77. 1 is the CEO, so we should not put that. And we can correct that by just adding a.employee ID should not be 1, since that is already the CEO, and that would be trivial to, to output, I guess. So that's an accepted solution. I'm going to submit that, and it's going to be accepted as well. Let's once again go through the connections, which are going to show us 2, 4, 7, and 77 as an output. Once again, we go through here, have the CEO managing directly Bob and Robert, 2 and 77. Then if we go through here, Bob manages Daniel, which is number 4. And then if we go through here, Bob manages Daniel, who manages Louis, which is 7. So we have all four of these. And this video might be a bit longer, but I wanted to do it thoroughly and make sure I visualize and explain everything deeply. 
Um, I'm going through all lead code database problems and I have playlists for easy, medium and hard problems as well as all lead code database problems. So make sure you check out these playlists and stick around at the channel and I hope I'll see you next time. If you have a request, as said, leave it down below and I'll take a look. See you next time.